Hello everybody and welcome back to the Art Girl Library. My name is Jake, I am your trainer, and in this video we're gonna be going over the performance side, in particular, MMA and boxing, focusing on the punching and improving your power and performance, all using the PRS device. In competitive sports, and especially combat sports, it's extremely important to have good form, especially when it comes down to your muscular endurance. The moment a muscle breaks down, it can open you up to a jab or, or a right cross or even a choke because your muscles weren't there to protect yourself. So I'm gonna show you specific pad placements that you can use while you're going through some of your punching and using the PRS device. Not only will it improve your muscular endurance, but it will also help Help build your performance and power so that you have a better knockout punch against your opponent. So let's go over those pad placements now. In this video, we're gonna be using the four pin lead system. First, you'll take the black lead and you're gonna place the black lead on the lateral side of the deltoid going horizontally, just like that. Next, you're gonna take the red lead and you're gonna place the red lead on the triceps going vertically, just like that. So red on the triceps going vertically, and then black on the lateral side of the deltoid going horizontally. Once you have these two pad placements set up, we're gonna go ahead and mirror everything on the opposite arm. So now that we have all four pads placed, go ahead and secure it. I recommend some sort of compression shirt or athletic tape that you can secure these pads when you're going through the movements. And let's go through the movements now. All right, so all four pads are placed. We have the black and then the red going on the triceps, so black on the lateral delt, both sides. And again, if you wanna wrap it, if you wanna secure it with any type of like compression gear, you can certainly do that. I'm not gonna do that in this case. These pads are brand new. Plus I want you to be able to see these placements in this case. Um, once you have your everything set up, go ahead and hit that purple power button, wait for the beep. And of course, I am using the pouch. You can always put it in your pocket if you wanna do that. You can, if you want a pouch, you can certainly purchase it on our online store. So go ahead and turn that up. If you hit the plus button multiple times, it'll slowly build up or you can hold that plus button down and there, now, we've get, now we're getting some intensity. You wanna go to your maximum tolerance. And once you get to that point, again, it's gonna start to build every set so you'll be able to turn it up each time. You'll notice as you move through this, it will, be get, it will get easier each time. So get into your stance, however that is. In this case, I'm just gonna take a boxing stance and a regular conventional style boxing stance. And I'm gonna start with a jab. Now, whatever you're doing on your jab, you wanna go as slow as possible for 60 seconds, and it should take you 60 seconds to get into that full range on that jab. So it will be something like this. But again, it's gonna be going much slower than what I'm doing. This is just, again, for demo purposes, and then once you have that 60 seconds, then you'll reset. And then from this case, I'm gonna do a combination. So it's gonna first be jab for, for 60 seconds. I'm gonna recover, and then I'm gonna do a right cross. So again, you're getting your legs involved in this, as well as getting into that right cross. But of course, you will go a lot slower for demo purposes once again. I'm going at that position. So just to reiterate, this will be 60 seconds. First on the jab, that will take that full minute, then you recover, and then another minute to go into that right cross. Doing both of those in a combination form will take about two minutes. That will count as one set. Once you finish that, go ahead and turn up that output power. Once again, as much as you can tolerate. After that first set, you'll, you'll see you'll be able to build that up. And you're gonna go through this five total sets, which would be 10 total minutes. And I do recommend doing this about three times per week. If you continue with this, you're gonna certainly see your performance improve. You're gonna see that you're gonna be able to keep that, that arm up to protect your jaw and you're also going to see your power increase as well. Now, I did the jab and I did the right cross. You can certainly fit this with whatever combination that you want to. Um, again, I would recommend having your trainer nearby to watch your form as you're going through that slow motion or do it in front of a mirror so you can correct yourself as need be. 
All right, so there you go. There are the pad placements and some movements that you can do to help improve your performance when it comes to your punching for MMA and boxing. Now, clearly, we can go through a lot more of this, and we can, we're going to get a little bit more detailed down the road, but here's a little bit you could start with. And if you have any other questions, especially for any other sports that you want to improve your performance, make sure you leave it in the comment section below, or you can reach out to us at info at arpneuro.com. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, and this is your MMA Boxing Performance Protocol.